What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back today to another brand new Team of the Season player review. And this time around we're taking a look at Yuri Tielemans' his Team of the Season card, part of the Benelux Team of the Season that was released a couple of days ago. And as it happens, Yuri Tielemans, who's been at Anderlecht for a long, long time, he's still very, very young, has actually just completed a £25 million, pounds, well, £25 million Euro move to uh, Monaco in Lee Gun. He's a player that I'm sure many of you will be familiar with. According to Football Manager, I'm sure all of you will know him on there. He's got a massive future ahead of him and uh, in real life as well, a lot of people say he's a player with a big future in the game and moving to Monaco for 25 million could really be a big step in Tielemans' career. But his 88 rated team of the season card is of course Anderlecht. Looks incredible. If you do enjoy the review, as always, leave a big thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel as well. But we're going to kick the review off now with the basic information. Tielemans, his height is 5 foot and 10 inches tall. He's got medium to medium work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. And looking at these top 5 in-game stats on his base card, 88 rated central midfielder as I've already mentioned. Comes with 66 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 shooting, 91 passing, 80 physical and 82 defending. So aside from the 66 pace, a very well rounded card there indeed. Top 5 in-games, he comes with 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 95 long passing, 93 ball control and 92 vision and only the 1 trait and that is the long passer one. It could be a speciality actually not a trait but um, looking at the team that we used to me you can see we've got him in that camp position and basically a Premier League Belgian themed team playing in that camp position you could very easily in fact probably his, his best position is arguably sent to mid but I wanted to try and get a bit more out of him so I played him at camp and in the five games that we played with him in that position he came away with a decent return of six goals and one assist as well. As we start to get the ball rolling now with the clips of Tielemans in action. He's a player that was a bit of a kneeler man for me to be honest. His free kicks, you'll see a couple straight off the bat, were absolutely fantastic. Yet I didn't manage to score one. Some absolutely cracking hits from Tielemans. And I've got to say, when he is behind the strikers, he's got a very, very good passing. He's always able to play them in. And uh, that was not an issue I had with him. But one issue I did have was his pace. When, but I, I don't think it would be as much of an issue in central midfield. But in camp, he found himself being played through on goal quite often and people would catch him up and he's one of those he's not particularly weak but he's not strong either I think if he's a little bit quicker he would be able to hold defenders off but because he's quite slow when defenders are pulling on him he just hasn't got enough to be able to pull away or hold them off really he's got not quite enough strength and nowhere near enough pace Positives of the card, ball control and dribbling were absolutely sensational. A five-star weak foot as well in that camp or central midfield position it always goes down an absolute treat. But negatives, like I've already mentioned, his pace isn't fantastic. The lack of four-star skill moves in that camp position especially was a big miss. And work rates being medium, medium. Sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise because you find your player floating in the middle, picking up the ball and driving forward with it. But for me, Tielemans, it didn't feel like he was doing that. Maybe that was just coincidence or luck over these last five games that I played with him. But he never seemed to be in the right place at the right time either. Overall, I'm going to be giving Tielemans an 8.4 out of 10. He's certainly not a bad card. He's a very, very nice card to use. His dribbling feels very, very nice. Got a very decent shot on both feet, which is always a massive thing like I've, meant, or I've mentioned in... Um, many reviews in the past that five star week foot is something that I really do enjoy with a, with a player and uh, Tielemans is no exception to that but really when you're looking at someone that's effective on FIFA he doesn't have the four star skill moves he hasn't got the pace and he's not massively strong either but uh, 8.4 out of 10 is what we're going to give him he is going on Xbox right now for around 30k so it's not expensive at all so for an 88 rated player that is a little bit of a bargain definitely someone you can easily get into um, a stronger team than the league that he's in obviously being Belgian there's many amazing Belgians they see the locks of De Bruyne Lukaku Mertens there's so many so you could easily get him into a good team and um, like I say for 30k he's someone that um, I think it's definitely worth trying him out but uh, that is going to end up this play review lads if you did enjoy it like I said at the start leave a big thumbs up on the video and I'll catch you all tomorrow with a new review from the newly released team of the season speak to you all there Nidge out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the.